Hi, this is Clay Jones, Fox Seals Disc Golf, lovely wife Michelle with me. Hello, everybody. We're coming back at you from Jonesville, Gainesville, Florida. It's part two of the seventh annual Cho. Yeah, the Chain Hawk Open. This is a super tight race. This is super fun. Really good golf going on here. Thanks to Dynamic and Tyler and all our super awesome sponsors. A ton of them. He's getting down. Look at him go. Yeah, there he goes. Thanks to Brandy over at Wildflowers Yoga. Great way to warm up before the round. Yeah, that was super fun. We're going to start off with a tie, seven down, seven down for Cole and Calvin. Chris right behind at six down, and Evan Gerthy pulling up the rear at three down. Hole nine. Hole nine, 370. Man, there's some gaps in this bad boy. You got to get through the two, I guess, three gaps, and it kind of seems like you're out in the open, and then there's some more gaps to get through. But you really don't want to go left. It's yeah, you don't want to go left because it's thick. Thick. super thicky. And then right is OB, and long is OB. So it's a super fun hole. Calvin will lead us off on hole nine. You go backhand. He's threaded the gap. You got a camera guy. Just a little long. A little long, but that's a great shot. Oh, we're gonna come up and give it a backhand too. Most right-handers go back in on this hole. It's almost a mando. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen anybody forehand on this right-handed forehand. No. Cole with a nice smooth release. He's got a little outside though. He needs to work back and yep. he's gonna hit that little <laughs> Caesar tree there. Very common area to wind up. Just gotta make a putt. Yeah. Evan's like one of those pro discus putters, I'm pretty sure. Putter range for Evan Gerthy all day. Yeah. Gives it a good rip. He's got it through the gap. Oh, that looks great. He's on the green. He's putting right at it. Very nice, Evan Gerthy. Mr. Chris Dickerson, so nicely coordinated with our pads and graphics and course today. I really, yeah. Again, really appreciate that, Chris. Yeah, very nice of him. Ooh, that looks like it's just lace. Needs to get up a little bit, though, but he's right there inside Cole, so he's going to have a real good look. Yeah, not too bad. No. Uh, he looks a little obstructed by the tree there. Yeah, Calvin definitely is going to have to mess with some of this, uh, some of that moss and some, yeah, he's got some, yeah, so that was tough, man. So he's close, no problem. Cole also has got to straddle out a little bit, got that little cedar messing with him a little bit, but uh, it's a tough little straddle, a little strong side, but he'll tap out for his three. Chris looks like he's right on the edge of the circle, man. That should be uh, no problem for him. Ooh, man, just a little high. Yeah. Well, it's up to Evan for the card here. Get a two. There you go. Very nice birdie. Finally got a birdie graphic up, graphic up there. And some nice tap outs. Thanks to all the chain hawks for all their hard work out here. You can see that beautiful park out there. And thanks to Parks and Recreation, Recreation Department as well. There we go. Still tied up. Seven down, seven down, six down, four down, though. Evan made up a stroke on the whole card yeah, there. So made that's up a nice. Bit with his bird. Yeah. 
All right, we're gonna move on to hole 10. That's 232 feet, the gauntlet. Yeah, this is a tricky hole, man. It's, mm. it's not very long, but I, I just try to throw my putter straight down there because you get right or left and you're in trouble. So yeah. it's tricky. You gotta get something to go super straight all the way down there and it's in the long position here. We popped up at one there right there at the end, so. This one's tough, man. It's a tree weaver or a super hard straight shot down the middle. That one's going to go the flick route, which is kind of a natural path, but he just overcooked it a little bit, and he's got one a little low in the woods. <laughs> overcooked it. Overcooked it. <laughs> I like it. Cal's going to go backhand here. Super, super tough for a right-hander to get a backhanded shot because there's couple trees right off the bat on that right-handed line so you basically got to hyzer flip something and just get something to stand up quick and go straight yeah he just pulled it a little wide and that's what happens it's like the gauntlet scramble hole uh, yeah. huh. you either run down the gauntlet and you make it or you scramble Cole's overcooked one as well and he made a little further down there though, so he'll have somewhat of a look, but there's also some trees right in front of the basket, so. Chris, I'm sure, is thinking he's gonna just try to pure one right down the center. Oh, and he does. He's just a little low, got that last bunch of big trees, so. He'll have a look, but he's also got some guys uh, in his path, though. He's got two six or eight inch trees there that are going to cause him some issues. Yeah, here comes that scramble part. Yeah, here's the scramble part of the gauntlet hole. <laughs> There's just enough stuff over there to get in your path. and Oh, like yeah, that. Yeah, just like that. I'd like to thank Ian for coming out and running the cameras and all his support, man. Great job out there, hustling. Mmm, yeah. Evan caught that same little couple there, that same little double ganger there. They're, they're tough to get around, man. I've caught those trees many a time myself. Yeah, Cole That's elected to, yeah, he liked to go a little fatter route over there to the right and just sort of hyzer back in for a putt, you know. Sometimes you just got to take the three and not try to be a hero. Get it. Yeah, Chris gave it a good run. He had a pretty decent look. Calvin's lining up a straddle sort of a falling jump putt looks like he's gonna try to get one through the trees and give it a good run mmm just a little short he's gonna have to settle for bogey Evan's gonna employ his uh, Annie straddle putt here bang no problem yeah his putt's on fire today so that, that's real nice Cole with his crane range putt right there with a little skip shot in the basket there. He'll take it and walk off though, no problem. And Calvin is going to wind up losing a stroke to the card. And he will wind up on the back of the tee pad on the next one here. So old 10 was a freeze for everybody but Calvin, and that's going to really tighten it up too here. And here we go. Hole 11. It's 50-50. Yeah, it's kind of half in the woods, and then once you get out here, all into the sunshine. Yeah, this position 292, and they get out there, and it's actually in the right-hand position over there. You can see a little pop-up basket, so they get around the tree and get a little terracing to deal with. It's a lot of stuff. It's a little cool little hole, man. I like it a lot. Evan's got a beautiful looking shot coming in. Big skip. Ooh, look out camera guy. Did it, did it, did it. Right between the legs. <laughs> did not hit him though. 
Did not hit him. That guy's fast. <laughs> Cole's gonna go with a little turnover putter probably here and uh see if he can give this thing an ace run maybe. Uh oh. That thing needs to get skinny. Ooh yeah. Ooh, smooth buttery landing too right there. That was nice. Very nice shot. <laughs> oh yeah, he's liking that. <laughs> Chris is also gonna go with the backhand. Try to get something turnover, probably putter, and get some float in there, and probably nestle by the basket's what he's thinking. Cabbage, the bush. <laughs> the, oh, there's a lot of words for it. There's so. a lot of words. He caught a branch <laughs> and got knocked down relatively early, so he's going to have a long, long look at it. Calvin hit the gap just too low. That shot at Chris's might have spooked him a little bit, so tends to happen you overcorrect a little bit if you see somebody do something like that so yeah. they'll both have a long look mm. nice run you gave it a run that was so close fantastic oh man Calvin yeah strong side change man good run <laughs> Evan Gerthy. Evan Gerthy, very nice birdie. He's going to put him right back in the running. So. Oh, yeah, he's making a nice charge here. Yeah. Cole's going to see if he can cash his fortunate check here. After going through, uh oh. Ah. No cash in that check. It's hard to take advantage of those lucky breaks sometimes. You just got to tell yourself to cash the check. Don't worry about what happened in the past. Just go ahead and. You know, take advantage, man. Chris has got about a 20 footer here for the three, no problem. Cole's going to step up as well, so that is going to give Evan a stroke on the whole card. Nice. Alright, Evan making the charge. Yeah, Almost man. Up there. This is really exciting. Yeah, that puts Evan two strokes off the lead, one stroke behind second, so anybody's game. A lot, a lot of golf left here. Yeah, going into some tough holes right here. All right, hole 12 was a crazy hole. OB right, OB left. Trees, trees, trees. Yeah, sometimes I'm not sure where the line is. Yeah, the basket is up on a hill in this position. There's the short position. We're going to fly by that, and there you can see the basket. Roll away city. Yeah, very so, tricky. So even if you get up there, it's hard yeah. to make it stay. Even if you throw a great, great drive and hit by the basket, sometimes you can wind up 60 feet away. So I guess you just put it in the basket. Yeah, it helps just hit the chains, <laughs> knock it in. That's what I try to do all the time. Evan's going to go over the top. This is my preferred route for sure. I'm going to go with a high ante... Something probably pretty stable. I think he caught some of those out of bounds trees and was very fortunate to get down and do the old rabbit roller and spin back in bounds there. So he'll take it. Cole's going right down the middle. Kind of does some. Goes through the air trees and just tickles a few branches here and there. Knock it down a little bit. It's still. That's a great shot. Yeah, he's probably about 50 out. Yeah, you can hit a tree and go out of bounds very quickly, or you can hit a tree that is already out of bounds and stay out of bounds in this hole, so. Catch a gust of wind and hyzer back up and just hyzer back out of bounds. There's a lot of stuff going on. It's a pretty high, good looking turnover shot Chris has got going. Comes bombing in. He's close to out of bounds, but he's safe, so. Not a bad line to be up there. No, he'll have a relatively clear clear look at it. Just kind of a death put at the downhill. But. Yeah. Mm. 
Well, it's only 350 feet, so Calvin's probably got his putter out, and he's crushed one. Straight hyzer, skip. Whoa, he needed that one to get down. It did, man. He's right there. Oh, the same as Chris's. Yeah. Chris's line. Yeah, you can hear some moaning on the teapad there. That one looked really close. Evan had to go to a knee with a little uh, straddly up shot kind of deal, and he made a great shot. Chris, is, Chris got about 45 or so, but man, I mean, it's a death putt behind that basket. Definitely roll away city. He's got it curling back to the side, top though, so he's okay. Yeah, that. Cal was the same line, just a little bit closer. Uh oh, and here's that dreaded roll. Same reaction. He's fine though, he's just under the basket a little bit there, no problem. Yeah, it could be worse. Yeah. We'll try to float one in there, and he did a good job of keeping that angle proper so he didn't get that hyzer roll away kind of spiky deal. So, good shot. Good there goes the camera guy. I know that dude. Yeah. Same putt for Chris, no problem. Board's gonna stay the same. We'll move on to 13. 13's like the little sister of 12. Yeah, it's really tough. Very similar, a little tighter. Uh, OB right and left. The right's hard to get to the OB, but the left is right there at that car path, and it can come into play very quickly. Yeah, the trees are low and close together, so it's, it's, it's tough. This is a very technical hole. I tend to go over the path with the flick shot from here. That's what I try to do. But Evan's going to flip his disc upside down and throw a driver over the top. Oh my goodness, it's upside down. Here he goes. Whoa, that's like Ooh. a million feet in the air. Yeah, some great reaction <laughs> on the t pad there too. Here it comes, they'll explode to the tree and there it is. About 22 feet at the max from the basket. That was awesome. Those girthies are so cool. Yeah. Everybody wish they had that 330 foot bomb in their bag like that, man. Yeah. Cole go the more traditional flick route. Yeah, Cole's gonna go flick route over the path. This is my, what I try to do. Over our nice spotters there. Yes. Oh, that's a nice shot right there. It's a beautiful shot. We'll take a little replay on that one, man. Oh yeah. Buzz the little tower there. Look out, guys. Ooh, that's really nice, Cole. Very nice shot. Chris is going to go a beeline straight down the middle. Good. Oh, oh, man. Going to the leaves right in there. That was money. Oh yeah, man, these guys are coordinated with our tee pads. Pretty strong there. Appreciate that. Calvin's got a really pure looking shot coming down the middle. Get out, look out. That'll work. And that's some great golf shots right there on 13, guys.
Yeah, you'd like to give Chris Clark a shout out for all his help and support and keep his ongoing duties as president of the club, so good job, Chris. Yes, very nice job. He's working his butt off. Calvin gets his birdie. Chris looks like he's about 17, 18 feet out for his little straddle putt here. He'll be out of bounds, but doesn't really come into play on this putt. Oh, goodness. Mm, yeah, that wind's gust a little bit. and might knocked him down a little there, so you can see the leaves blowing around and stuff. So Cole going to get the birdie also, so Chris will lose one to the card. It's mm. making it tighter. Yeah, for sure. There's a lot of openness right here, the pertaining area and stuff, so... Gracie and the Marvelous Metal Basket Coloring Book Edition. So fun. Can't wait to get it in the hands of every kid we know. And adults like to color too. Oh yeah. I like to color. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's really going to make it close now. Mm, 8766. Yeah, man. Moving on to hole 14. 243 feet. You got the little cage there, which is OB. It's hard to get in there, but uh, it is OB, and the path is OB as well. On the left side over there, yeah. yeah. So. The fence is OB also, but it's hard to get over that, but it happens. But mainly, you just gotta watch out for that. Oh, watch out for that mimosa drum. Yeah, he's going to try to go out and around and get back in there. A little flick shot. Does that one go? Real nice looking skip shot. Yeah, you can play it off, carry him off the fence there. It's a good shot. Yeah, it came in a little early, but it'll be fine. Yeah, he's got about a 25 foot putt. Cole's going to like to go the same shot. Oh man, that was so good looking. Yeah. Very nice. He's pretty happy with that. Calvin okay, also gonna go with the flick shot. Oh, look out. He's got one coming in wide. Oh, Ooh, he uh -oh. caught some, yeah, caught some bad route, bike route, walking path route, skip, and no bueno. No good juju on that one. No, he just got a flat <laughs> skip and it just went straight out of bounds pretty much. Here's that one going right at it. Mm, that's a great looking shot. Beautiful. Curled right back to the basket too. Man, that was money. A little replay on that one. Oh, that's so nice to watch that fly. Mm. That's how it's done. Yeah, that's how it's done right there. Alright, this is going to be for the three for Calvin here. He's got a solid 45 feet to the basket, and it's probably a good five, six feet uphill. Yeah, that's a tough putt, man. Evan's putt's working, man. Great putt. Very nice. Cole also cashed the two and 
Chris is going to step up and he's got about eight feet here, so no problem. Calvin loses two strokes to the card on that one. That was a tough hole for him, so. Now that Cole keeps his lead. Yeah, Cole keeps his lead and Evan's powering up. Just keep going, man. Keep fighting. All right, 15, one of the bigger holes in the course, 450. You gotta deal with a little bit of stuff right off the bat, and then you just gotta get some distance and get out there and get back in and around, and this location is tucked back into the right. There it is, beautiful disc golf hole. One of the longer holes on the course, very yeah. challenging. Yes, for sure. Wind comes into play as well. As soon as you uh, get out past those two trees, it's nothing but uh, open. So the wind definitely comes into play. Evan's going to throw down a beautiful looking roller. Mm-hmm. Look at it go. Oh, did it get him? Oh, man. Did it get him? That was a beautiful shot. Nice throw. Yeah, he won about 25 out. Cole's going to flip one here and unfortunately flipped it a little bit too much. And Got it out there. Yeah, he's flirting with 17's fairway over there, so. Well, at least there won't be any trees between them, though. Yeah, he's got a pretty much an open up shot, so. Just going to go back in, see if he can flip something over. He definitely has the arm to get there. Looks like he's going roller also. Ooh, Ooh. that one needs to get down. Mm, got off the fence, but it's okay. He's about hole high, but he's got a little bit of stuff to deal with, so we'll have to really see what his footing is like once we get up there. And it could be underneath a bunch of trees. Yeah, that one, that one might be rough. Calvin's got one weaving through the trees and headed towards the basket. Look out. Whew. That was a beautiful shot. Yeah, Cole just had to go up shot and he wound up about 15 out, so. Calvin wound up about 35 or so past the basket and he's disc is actually underneath those trees so only option was to go to a knee here and stick a foot in there and try to make something happen yeah trick the putt mm, nice run man that was dead center Chris wound up a little bit past two in the woods. He's just got that one tree to deal with, but there's also some low low stuff hanging there. So he's trying to step side to side and get his straddle figured out. I think he decided to go left foot first and give this thing a run. It's definitely up on a hill, so if you miss it, you you can run at least 25 past probably. Ooh, we got a little skip shot also, so. He got a little comebacker, so this hole is not over for him just yet. Alright, this will be for the two for Evan. Cam! Cash it, baby. Nice bird. Oh, Evan is killing it. Nice run. Oh, yeah, way to fight back, Evan. I think you are, too. I think there was a little CTP discussion going on there and Chris decided to go ahead and take his putt. And Cole has to step up and clean up as well. He wound up about eight or so out, so no problem. And Calvin had to tap in, so. Moving on to the gauntlet hole. Yeah. 
Evan, jump there. Evan had a nice little jump there, so here we go to hole 16. It's only 187 feet, but there is OB to the right of that fence, and then it might as well OB be OBs because it is torturous once you get in there. <laughs> yes, it is. So. You just want to throw something a little straight down here and maybe get it to grind in or if you stay got, low. Yeah, stay low. If you got a flippy putter and you want to give it an ace run, then there you go. But you, you gotta know that there's danger on this hole. Oh, nice little kick. And Evan's gonna be very happy the way that turned out. Yeah, that could have gone the other way for sure. Cole's got a beautiful looking shot coming in. Yep. That'll work. Yeah, I'd say so. Chris got a good looking putter shot coming in. Glow disc there, I like that. <laughs> mm, Cole caught something and got knocked down relatively early. He's gonna have some work to do. Mm. Yeah, you can see it's just to get in there to fi find and get his foot near his disc is a challenge. Yeah, he had to pitch out and caught something yeah. super early and then almost went OB over the fence. Uh, he got fortunate there. We used to have Bob on this fence, which was a two meter relief, and now that's been removed. So it's a one meter off the fence. So he took his meter and he's going to try to salvage a three here. Oh, almost. And he hit the top of the cage. That was just too, too bad. That was close. Good run. Oh. Mm, Evan with a similar hit, similar reaction as well. Oh, oh goodness. This, this is, one is getting them all. Stingy Let's see basket. If Cole can get it. Pressure's on Cole here. He'd like to get this one and make a stroke up on the whole card, man. Anytime you can do that, you want to cash it. There you go. Yeah. Alright. Follow these guys in real quick. Action cam. <laughs> and tough little hole. Mm -hmm. It's got my number. Yeah, Calvin's going <laughs> to have to uh, re examine that hole in the next round. So. Cool. We'll grab a little extra on his lead there. Yeah. Put Evan in second place though, battling back. Hole 17. Hole 17, the fence over there to the right is OB, doesn't come into play that much. And then long of the basket is also OB. It's 294 feet, it feels like it plays a little bit longer than that. Maybe it's because of these big trees right off the bat, but. Yeah, you gotta kinda go around her, yeah. under, over. Yeah. <laughs> And as you can see, it definitely gets some wind out here. Cole's got a great looking shot going, and that one's just carving through. Get to get some skip. Bad. Yeah, he's probably got about yeah, he's mm -hmm. about twenty three yeah. or so out. That's That'll nice. Work. Yeah. Evan's waiting for that wind to die down just a little bit. And he's going to go with something. He's Oh, he's going to go Ooh, roller. It down there. there you go. go he's going to see go. if he can ride that wind. That one stabled up a little quicker than he would have liked. So he's going to be about 40 or so. Maybe a little inside of that. But I would say 35 
minimum. So he's gonna have to make a putt. Hey, he's putting today. He's Absolutely, gotta... his putt's been on fire today. So that's right in his range. Chris is gonna let the flick go down there, and yeah, he's got that thing working high. Needs to get a little help here. Oh, it did. There you go. Nice. That worked perfectly, really. Nice backstop. So he's gonna have a inside twenty foot putt though, so that's great. Great reaction. Calvin's going a little bit lower, but it's riding the wind and it's gonna also pick up. Mm. He got a good tree. Yeah, he got a very good tree because that <laughs> pretty much looked like it was already made it through the back side of the tree and it caught that last little leaf, I think, and very fortunate kick. As you can see there, Evan looks like he's a solid 45 out, so. Mm, gave her a good run, but just came up a little bit short. That one's not short. That one's right <laughs> on the money right there. Great putt. He likes it. Calvin as well. A couple of nice birds right there. Yeah, I think you feel pretty good taking a bird on that hole, even mm. though, you know, it's not real long, but still. Yeah, there's a lot going on here, so. And the wind, so. Oh, mm, goodness. Cole just caught that a little bit outside. No, no stick on that one. So Cole and Evan, Evan will have to settle for the threes and. Oh my goodness. Final hole. Yeah, that's really tight. Well, we thanks everybody for watching. This is going to be the final hole of this segment. Hole 18 is 301 feet. It's relatively open off the tee pad. And there's a few things around the basket. It's OB in the parking lot over there to the right. Yeah. This it's, is the longer position. The right? longer position popped in right there. Yeah, so. You just want to get it out there and get it close and make a putt. Great, oh, card. great card. Smooth tournament. Oh, yeah. Evan given the hometown Fox Hills some love. <laughs> oh, so beautiful. Such a lovely yeah. shot. What a great course. That fence to the right is the ball field, and it's OB, but that rarely comes into play. Chris has got a beautiful looking hyzer shot coming in. Oh, oh that man. was so close. Tried to end with some fireworks. Let's get a little replay on that one, man. What a great looking pull. Mm. It comes, we'll slow it down a little bit. Oh, oh, that was so close. That did thing, it hit the basket? It did hit the basket. Sorry we were talking through it, but you could hear it hit the oh basket in slow motion there. That was something. See if Calvin can follow it up. Yeah, Calvin needs to match him up right here. He's got a good-looking shot coming in. All yeah, right. well, that's a great shot. Right. Yeah, he's about 18 out. Yeah. 18 on 18. 18 out on 18. That's not bad. <laughs> Caught some early stuff there. Oh, no, yeah. grind it up nicely, though. It may have caught something, but it sure caught something good, so that was pretty <laughs> nice. Ev looks like he's going to go a little more over the top. Spiky, maybe try to get those trees out of play. Yep, he lets one rip over the top, comes bombing in, and mm. yeah, he got a bit of an unfortunate kick backwards there. Yeah. It looked better from the tee pad than it did, but. Oh, Evan gives it a great run right off the top of the basket, though. Nice, nice shot. Yeah, very nice bird. Very nice birdie for Calvin right there. That was beautiful.
And there you go. Round one is in the books. That was fantastic. Yeah. Thanks, Ian and Michelle, for helping me shoot this one. And uh, that was a great card. We'll be back as soon as we can for round two. Absolutely. Special thanks to Ian Cottrell, Ryan Woodward, Courtney Riejo, Chris Clark, Tyler Searle and his crew, and all of the Chainhawk board members and volunteers. You guys are the best.